Right, hi. Um, in this tutorial, what we're going to be doing is attaching a file to our website. Um, I've already created my template for this tutorial. And what I'm going to show you are two various methods. I'm going to show you how to create a hyperlink uh, that will open up an attachment and also a button that will open up the attachment. The attachment that I've got is this PDF called My PDF. Um, and it's just a simple attachment that just says this is a PDF attachment. Okay, so let's take a look at how we do this. I'm going to create a text frame flyout for this because usually when you're talking, when you, usually when you're using hyperlinks, you're uh, embedding a link within a body of text. Um, so I will type in something like this. This is some text, and here is the download link. Okay. What what I'm going to do is I'm going to get um, this word here, download link to be the link to that file. So what you do is simply highlight the words that you want to turn into a hyperlink, right click on them, and go to hyperlink. You then get presented with a series of options. Now we are looking for a particular file, so we're gonna to go to file, we're gonna browse for the file. In this case, the file is on my desktop, and I've got it saved under a folder called WordPlus X5, another file called uh, attaching files and here it is my PDF right I want to embed the file to the site so make sure that is uh, selected embed file to site you might also want to create um, a folder for your files to be exported into so go to export options this is the folder that will get created initially um, but I actually want a, a folder to be created called files so I'm going to create a folder called my files click OK and it creates that folder. I click on that and click on OK and then click on OK. And as you can see it's already put a, a link there for me. I'm now going to show you how to create a button version of this. Uh, so you can use the quick options down the bottom here um, and I'm going to click on button and just drag it on. You can then select the button that you want. There's lots of options to choose from. Um, <coughs> I'm just going to stick to the green button for the moment. I'm going to change that and say download. It's going to link to a file. So again, we've got to find that file. So using the same method as before, browse. There it is again, my PDF. Export the options, click on my files again, OK, and click on OK again. There are other options you could choose from. For example, if you wanted to open up in a new window, you can select new window. Um, and click on OK. You can play around with those things. Then click on OK again. You can then just drag out the button to the size that you want. And those are the two methods for creating uh, links to your files and attaching them to your website. So let's take a look at how it works. I'm going to save it first, go to File, go to Publish Site, and I'm going to publish it to the disk folder. I'm going to choose the folder again for where I want it to go, WordPlus X5 Tutorials, Attaching Files, and my exported site folder which I've already created. Click on OK, click OK again, and then you get this option. I'm not going to open it up just yet, I want to show you how the whole thing looks. So here's the exported site, you can see that it's created the files for me, it's created that folder called My Files, if I go in there, my PDF is in there. Let's take a look at how this website looks. Just minimise that, there we go. OK, I'm going to allow the block content, if I click on download link, you can see that the PDF opens up in the actual window. If I click on the download version, it should open up in a new window, which it does. And that's it. That's how easy it is to attach files.